Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Upper Room. Uh, this week, we are celebrating the first week of Advent. Uh, for those of you Christians who follow me who are not Catholic Christians, um, Advent is a time in our liturgical year that we prepare for the coming of the Lord. Uh, we prepare for his birth, right? So uh, it it's begins in the, um, the week. It's generally the, just, the week just before the beginning of December. Um, and so it's uh it's celebrated by lighting a candle for each of the coming weeks uh before christmas so um there is something called an advent wreath so it's gent this is where wreaths come from a wreath that like you hang on your door comes from the season of advent uh the wreath is is generally laid on a table uh, and the table and on the wreath there will be four candle holders that are uh, attached to the wreath and each there are uh, three purple candles and one pink candle and some wreaths have a fifth candle a white candle that they light uh, on Christmas now um, Advent is the time that we um, recollect the greatest holiday for Christians um, not well I would say that um, the most hopeful and, and uh, wonderful holiday for Christians uh, besides Easter Easter is the fruition of that hope coming true uh, the hope is that God was to send us a savior um, to save us from from our sins and he promised this through uh, uh, through the prophets, and he revealed to the prophets that he would send one who would gather all the nations, the Messiah, and um, and he revealed certain truths about the Messiah, what bloodline he'd be born from, where he would be born, in particular what city, the fact that he would be born from a virgin, okay, the miraculous things that he would do. And Jesus fulfilled all of those prophecies. Now, these prophecies weren't just written in one age. They were written over a number of different generations. Uh, and they were written 700 years before Christ was born. So Christmas is the fruition of those prophecies. Um, uh, and um, so, so during the season of Advent, we prepare ourselves for Christmas we prepare our homes for Christmas we prepare our spirits our souls for Christmas for the coming of the Lord okay and um, it is a time of, of the season for yes gifts as well but that's not the main uh, uh, purpose of the holiday but just like any other holidays or when we would see family members after not seeing them for a, uh, a long time, you know, it's customary to want to give something to them. And so we just, we choose to give gifts on this holiday. And what, what holiday would be better to give those gifts? Jesus wants us to be happy. He wants us to celebrate life. He wants us to celebrate his life. He wants us to praise God for this wonderful season and this time that he gave us the Messiah, okay, that Jesus, God, became man, all right? He stepped down from heaven into darkness to help those of us uh, who are in desperate need of his help, who need a, who need a power greater than themselves to live. Um, and so it's much more than that, uh, you know, if you really um, think about it. So, so Advent it's a lovely season where we get a wreath, we place candles on the wreath, and for each coming week, uh, we light uh, a candle every Sunday. We do the same thing during Mass, and um, and it's it's like we're one week closer to Christmas. Okay, now the most wonderful thing uh, about the Advent wreath is its meaning. Okay, the 
the wreath itself, the fact that it's evergreen, signifies life, okay? And the fact that it's a ring constitutes that there's a beginning, but there's no end, all right? So it's, it's, it is signifying eternal life in Christ that we're preparing for in, 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 for Christmas, okay? And each candle, the purple candles, leading up to the pink candle, which is just before Mary gives birth, um, or for the coming weeks. I don't know why they chose purple. It's just purple is a sign of royalty. Um, uh, uh, kings generally wore uh, purple or would wear blue. Um, these are colors were um, an expensive type of dye that you could get or expensive type of um, uh, fabric to buy so so generally kings always wore them so we choose to use purple the pink signifies that Jesus is about to be here and a white candle if people choose to have it signifies that Christ has been born and so uh, in the coming weeks of Advent um, we prepare for the coming of the Lord and we remember all the wonderful things that he's done from us done for us this year um, we can always see in retrospect what we should have done better, but we also can see in retrospect the thing, the the areas in our life that clearly that couldn't have happened to unless Jesus was there, unless God helped me through that. And this is a time that that no matter what we've gone through this year, that the holidays, um, even if we're alone, we're not alone from Christ. Okay, Jesus is with us. And so we have to remember that. And I know it's hard to, but we need to remember that. So understand that, that, that we are celebrating now what the Israelites for hundreds of years were praying for God to uh, come through with his promises about the Messiah. And now we and our generation can experience the benefits of all that God promised his people. So thanks again for watching Up Room. I hope this video was informative uh, and, and I can't wait to, to do a Christmas video for you guys because there's so much I have to say and I know you guys are going to learn so much. Um, you may notice I'm wearing glasses now. Uh, apparently I'm a little bit older and my vision is a little blurry now. So uh, I have uh, officially got my um, old man stripe, uh, even though I'm 38. <laughs> so, but um, I hadn't been to an eye doctor in many years. And, uh, and he said that I need glasses. Uh, so you'll be seeing more of uh, the lenses. Anyways, um, thanks again for watching Upper Room. If you're looking for uh, merchandise, John 656, I got other hoodies and stuff. Just check it out at um, welcometotheupperroom.com. And uh, there's a site there. Just click, click the button that says dedicated site and just look up Christian Apparel. It'll take you to the Mike Gleam store. Um, thanks again for watching Upper Room. I'll see you again soon.